Welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. In this video, I'll demonstrate three ways to add metallic flakes to a material. After viewing this quick tip, you'll know how to use the material graph to gain full custom control over metallic flakes in any material. Please note that the material graph is a Keyshot Pro feature. The first method is the quickest, but also the one with the least control. Change the material type to metallic paint. Open the metal roughness drop down and adjust the metal flake size and metal flake visibility to your likings. If you have trouble seeing the flakes, changing the units to meters will help. Make sure to select keep seeing size. Make sure to use an environment with high contrast for full visibility of your flakes. For greater control of the shape and pattern of metallic flakes, open up the material graph. Add in a camouflage texture and add it to the metal coverage input on the metallic paint material. It's here at the keyboard to preview the camouflage map. Adjust colors, color balance, distortion, distortion scale, spray, and scale to your needs. Hit C again to exit the preview. Adjust the metal color of the metallic paint if needed. For even greater control, add a metal material to the graph. Right click, go to material and select metal. Drag the output of the new metal material to the plus on the metallic paint to add it on top. Add a spots texture and use it as an opacity map for the metal material to create the flakes. Swap the color and background color and adjust scale, density, radius and distortion to your likings. To give the flakes an extra degree of variety, add in a cellular texture and apply it as a bump map. Adjust scale and bump height accordingly. To make the flakes viewed from grayson angles less visible, right click the spots opacity connection and add in a color composite. Add in a color gradient texture, change the gradient type to view direction and make the grayson angles black and the front facing white. Apply the gradient texture to the source alpha of the color composite and make sure that the background color in the color composite is set to black. And there you go. Three different ways to apply metallic flakes to your material that hopefully inspires you to think of several other ways you can use the material graph, procedural textures, and utility notes for deeper customization. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of our playlists below. To make sure that you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keyshot icon in the center of the screen.